Newsom passing the 2 million signature mark today. Just days before the deadline, that should be enough signatures to trigger a recall election once they're all verified. Newsom is leading the slowest statewide reopening response in the country to the China virus. Here's what he had to say during his State of the State address. When this pandemic ends, and it will end soon, we're not going to go back to normal. Because I think we all agree, normal was never good enough. You know, normal accepts inequity. <laughs> Joining me now to weigh in, former acting director of national intelligence and former U.S. ambassador to Germany, Rick Grinnell. You know, Mr. Grinnell, people have been pleading with you to run for governor of the state of California. It's a mess out there. And now the current Kendall governor is using the China virus to institute social engineering in that state. Question, will you break news tonight and announce you will challenge Gavin Newsom in California? Look, we have six days left to get all these signatures, and then we're going to have a process where the Secretary of State, appointed by Gavin Newsom, she's not gone through an election. She was appointed because our Secretary of State previously, Alex Padilla, has become the U.S. Senator replacing Kamala Harris. So our brand new Secretary of State, appointed by Gavin Newsom uh, just recently, is going to lead a process of trying to verify the signatures that the counties put forward. So we're not there yet, and I want to be very focused on what the next step is, which is after next week's deadline, we still have six days. If you are in California, you can still sign the petition and send it in. But then we're going to have 30 business days, uh, which is about six weeks and they will take their time in verifying the signatures. The hope is, is that we come out on the other end having 1.5 million verified signatures and that then we can, uh, what I would say is return to normal. We need to return to normal. The idea that Gavin Newsom has announced that he doesn't want to return to normal should be the signal that every Californian has uh, when they go to recall this guy. It's a, it's a ridiculous mm -hmm. premise to say we don't want to return to normal. Of course we do. Yep. Turning to national security, if we can, the Biden administration is preparing for its first high-level meeting with China next Thursday. But in an era where Mr. Biden is caught with, in pictures playing Mario Kart simultaneously while his, while his vice president talks with foreign leaders, I have a question. Who do you think is making policy in this White House? Well, to be honest, it would be better if Joe Biden wasn't making the policy when it came to China, because we know exactly what his position is, which is a very weak position. And so uh, I think that the, the idea that Kamala Harris is uh, learning about foreign policy is great. Um, she should learn more and know more, and I welcome that step that she's taking. But the idea that she's taking the initial call from world leaders, I think, is troubling because these world leaders know Joe Biden. They know him when he was the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, and they'd like to talk to him. They usually want to talk to the leader, not the, the vice president. And so not getting on the phone mm -hmm. for the initial call, I think, sends a really dangerous message. I think so, too. Uh, Florida is pushing back on China by cracking down on Chinese influence at American colleges and universities. Knowing that Biden and his party are very pro-China, how crucial is it that other states, like perhaps maybe California, follow Florida's lead and push back on the communist nation? Look, I think there's a lot that Californians should do to follow Floridians. Uh, our leaders in California should follow the leaders in Florida. Uh, I think uh, on education reform, uh, we, we could really follow Florida, on opening up schools and churches and restaurants. Um, but when it comes to what uh, Florida is doing and what Governor DeSantis is doing when, when combating Chinese spies, uh, I think it's, it's crucial that every state follow Florida. We have a problem in California, and specifically in Northern California, uh, I can just point to the problems of Dianne Feinstein when it comes to Chinese spies. How about Eric Swalwell, Nancy Pelosi, Barbara Boxer, Gavin Newsom? They're all San Francisco Democrats. And we have a problem 
I can tell you as a former acting director of national intelligence, we have a problem with Chinese spies in this country. They've infiltrated our local politicians, our national politicians, and certainly our academic institutions. And we need to be very clear that uh, communist China is not our future. Uh, we need, and, and we should go back to uh, our policy 20 years ago when we engaged with China and allowed them to go into the WTO, it was because we believed that the engagement policy with Westerners such as America and the Europeans would move China towards a greater sense of the rule of law or human rights. And what we've seen since they've joined the WTO is the opposite. They have, they have backslidden mm -hmm. when it comes to human rights. Look no further than Hong Kong or the Uyghurs or Huawei. Um, we have a real problem with, uh, with, with China right now. It's a crisis. Indeed it is. And I think you are right to be concerned. I think all Americans should be concerned about their infiltration and their influence over our politicians. Rick Grinnell, always a pleasure to talk to you, sir. Keep in touch. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.